What is up guys, I'm back with another video today and today I'm going to be showing you how to de-bloat Windows 10. Now if you don't know what I mean by uh, de-bloating Windows 10, if we go to the start menu here you can see Windows 10 comes with a lot of uh, preloaded apps that you might not want, you might not ever use. I'm not sure, it all depends on how you use your computer. You can see there's a bunch of tiles over here, um, but more importantly, it comes with things like 3D Viewer, Alarm and Clock, uh, Calendar, Camera, Feedback Hub, uh, Get Help, Groove Music, Mail, Maps, Microsoft Solitaire Collection, Mixed Reality, Portal. The list just goes on. This is all stuff that came with a brand new Windows 10 installation. So I'm going to show you a little script today that somebody wrote online. Um, that will take care of most of that. So we're gonna go over to github.com. Uh, just go up to the search bar up. Hello? I'm gonna go up to the search bar up here and we're just gonna type in Windows 10 D bloater, all one word. Uh, you're gonna go to this top result right here, the one that says Sicknex. Um, I think that's how you pronounce that got like 15,000 likes on there so anyway we're gonna go into here uh, we're gonna go to code and go to download zip once our zip opens we'll go ahead and extract that and now we'll get rid of all this other stuff back here so we're gonna go to our Windows 10 D bloater right here and here's the script that we want. Um, any one of these, I'm gonna use the one with the GUI just because uh, it's a little um, more pleasing to look at. We're gonna go to start and type in power, PowerShell. Uh, we're gonna right click on that and run as administrator. Uh, once this comes up, we're gonna type in uh, we're going to type in set dash execution policy. I pressed the wrong button. Do set execu execution policy and then dash execution policy unrestricted. And we'll just do yes to all. So now we are able to run uh, unsigned scripts because the, this is one of them. We're going to go back to our folder right over here uh, where we have the scripts in here. We're going to just copy the uh, path to it. You type in CD space and then just do right click and that will automatically paste the directory in. And just type in win and then hit tab and it will automatically uh, autofill in for you. So we'll just go to the one with the GUI, hit enter, uh, do run once. And now here's the Windows 10 debloater. Um, so up here you can customize your block list or just remove all the bloatware. And we're just gonna ha go ahead and remove all bloatware. So now we are going to uh, go down here. We'll disable Cortana because we're not gonna be using that. Disable this Edge PDF thing because I don't even use Edge. I usually use Google Chrome or Brave. Uh, dark theme that just enables and disables the Windows 10 dark theme. You can do that and personalize. Other changes down here, um, we can go ahead and uninstall OneDrive. And now we're going to go to disable telemetry slash tasks. That'll disable all the uh, random telemetry stuff in Windows 10. And then unpin tiles from start menu. That'll just unpin whatever. Uh, tiles are left on the start menu. And then we can go ahead and remove bloatware reg keys. Uh, it just removes any registry keys uh, that were left behind by the bloatware that we removed. So anyway, I'm going to go back to our start menu here and now you can see there is a lot of stuff that's missing. However, we are still left with uh, some of the apps I talked about earlier like the 3D viewer, alarms, clocks, and all that stuff. So. We're going to go back uh, in here, well actually we're going to close our Windows 10 D bloater. And now we are going to type in, this is going to remove all your uh, apps, so 
proceed with caution. I will show you how to get some stuff back later like the Windows Store and your calculator app because that will also get removed. You can remove them one at a time, but we're not going to be doing that today. We are just going to um, we're just going to be doing this. So we're going to type in git uh, slash appx package space. We're going to do one of these uh, bar things. I forget exactly what they're called. Remove dash appx package and then hit enter. Uh, you're going to see a few errors in here, but don't worry about it. All right, now that that script is done running, we'll go back to our start menu again, and you can see now it is completely cleaned up. We have very minor things left, like Windows, I'm sorry, Microsoft Edge, uh, the Settings app, and Windows Security. If you'll notice in there, the Windows Store is missing, which is kind of a vital part of Windows, because uh, whenever you don't have an app installed, it's going to suggest you to go to the Windows Store, and the Windows Store isn't gonna exist. So to get the Windows Store back, we're going to type in git appx package and then a space and we will do in a uh, stars windows store um, We're going to make sure that's case sensitive just in case dash all users and do another one of those bars um, the bar I'm talking about, it's the, uh, it's the one that's with the backslash key above your return key for each, and then the squiggly parentheses, add dash apex package dash disable development mode dash register space and then in quotation marks we will put a dollar sign parentheses another dollar sign underscore dot it's all location backslash app x manifest.xml alright so once you have all this right here we're going to hit enter You'll see it flash up there for a second, it'll disappear. Now when we go to our start menu again, we will have Microsoft Store here. Uh, so now you can load up the Microsoft Store, you can go and type in calc. Bring up the page here, just type, or uh, tap get. Uh, no thanks. Just want to download our calculator again. Then go ahead and install. And then once we go back to our start menu here, uh, we'll have our calculator back. So we have the Windows Store and the calculator. And um, since we have the Windows Store, we can download any other apps that we uh, might have removed with the script. But needless to say, the start menu is a lot cleaner now. And uh, you'll just see all the apps that you installed and that you'll actually use. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see ya.